Holy cow. I mean, Ideogram just released a brand new 2.0 update and the images coming from this model are absolutely insane. So let them speak for themselves right now. So aren't you shocked? These images are completely out of this world. The main focus of this video will be how to use this program and how to get the most of it. So if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button and you can also subscribe to the channel. Now, one important thing is that this program is completely free to use. Make sure that you use the link in the video description for Ideogram and sign up for this website. And let me just show you what you get with a free account. So with a free account, you get 10 slow credits per day, which is up to 40 images. Then you also have an option to turn images into text with the scribe option. Then you also have access to our community gallery as well as download compressed JPEGs. Now, if you upgrade, which is up to you nonetheless, you have plenty of options like basic, plus and pro. And of course, the more you pay, the more you get. So it's up to you nevertheless. So let's go here to the first page and let's see here the explore page. So here on the explore page, the first page of Ideogram, here you will pretty much see images generated by other people. Let's say, for example, this one. Here you can see four of the similar images. So here this is the cover one. And if I click on this one, this is another iteration. If I click on this one, here's another iteration. And here we also have another iteration. Now, you can also use the same prompt for your own images by clicking use here. And here you can already see that it already added pretty much everything here, as well as the aspect ratio. Now here you can also remix this image, basically create your own version of the similar image. And here down below, you can pretty much see which model was used. So in this case, model was Ideogram 2.0, style was actually general, and rendering is default. Now resolution is 9 by 16, so I think for TikTok or something like that, and also date created. Now, this is really, really cool. But if you want to download this image, you can pretty much select here three dots here on the right. And here down below, you will find another option called download. Now, if you have, of course, paid account, you are able to download full quality in PNG format. However, if you have a free account, you are actually able to download the same image by just using JPEG option here, the image will be at 70% quality, which is also quite good in my opinion. Now, yeah, this is pretty much it, how the images look like here on the ideogram. Let's go here to, for example, to the realistic model. And here we also have some of the other images as well, which apparently look more realistic. For example, here we have this army. I think this one also looks quite good. Here we can also go to the design and here we have some posters and stuff like that. Here we have 3D renders like Blender and Disney. And then we also have here anime. So basically drawn characters, which I think also all look kind of good. Now let's go here to the explore page and let's here click on create. So here we have here the first prompt. So if you, for example, don't have any prompt or if you, let's say, don't have any ideas what to generate, you can enable here magic prompt. So magic prompt option enhances your initial prompt to improve image variety and richness. And it can also translate to English. So for example, if you are native German or Spanish speaker, then you can pretty much here write in your language and this will translate it for you, which is really, really cool. Then we have here aspect ratio. So basically what content are you creating? If you are creating content, for example, long form videos on YouTube, YouTube, then use 16 by 9. Or if you are making, let's say, YouTube Shorts, TikToks, then use 9 by 16. You also have an option visibility. So pretty much you cannot alter between the two options because you have to actually have a paid account for these options. So pretty much every single image you generate will be public with a free account. Here you can also pretty much pick the model. Here 
the latest one is 2.0 and we also have the color palette so this is currently set to auto but you can pretty much here pick from any other presets or create your own custom color palette as well then for the rendering, you have three options, but the similar thing to the visibility, you pretty much have to have paid account for these options here. And I think this is pretty much it, I believe. So here you can also see that we have about two credits. So this is pretty much it, how many of the credits this generation will take or one generation. So here I will go here to the prompt and let's draw something or let's think about one simple prompt let's go with a volcano in the dolomites in italy and right now i will leave it as it is and uh, i hope that this feature magic prompt will enhance this prompt initially so here down below you can also pretty much select what style you prefer i will go with the realistic or you can just leave it to the auto so here i'll just click on realistic and click on generate and let's see what will ideogram come up with so here on top you can also see that we have to wait about one minute to generate the image however if you guys use the link in the video description below and upgrade to one of more premium versions you get to support this channel and you won't have to wait for generations to start and the really cool thing which i really like here is that we have here some of the progress so as you saw we had the percentage as well as the message saying generation complete, which is really, really cool. Now here we have four of the images, first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. Now, if we take a look at the fourth one, which I think looks the best in my opinion, this is how it looks at the moment. Now, here we have this foreground, which is this lake. We have all the hills here in the background and this massive volcano in the middle as the main subject. And it's actually erupting and this huge smoke coming out of it. Now, here down below, we can also go to use the remix feature. So because I think this image looks the best I will go here with the remix feature and here you can also increase or decrease image weight so currently by default this is set to 50 but for example let's increase it to the 60 and let's see how many of the similarities remixed images will have to this original one so here you can also click on this and right now it's actually describing the image itself which is also really really cool and it makes a simple prompt from it so here i will leave it as it is and here i will click on remix so here we have another four of the images which i think look better compared to the first one so if I click here on the first one, this is how it look, looks like. Very similar to the original one, but it has some of different details here and there. So this is what I really, really appreciate. So here, if you go under my images, you can pretty much see that we have all these four images, which are remixed from this original image, all look very, very similar. Here and there are some slight differences. So I think this one here looks the best in my opinion. It has this volcano here in the background and I think it looks okay. Now here, if you want to download the same as before, just click here on download and select here JPEG. And this is pretty much it. Now, this new ideogram, brand new update, it's really, really cool. They also released a brand new iOS app. So if you want, you can also download this application on your phone. And they also introduced a brand new API. So yeah, this is pretty much it for Ideogram 2.0. I think this is a really massive update and it has some of the really nice quality of life improvements. And this is pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel as well. And with that said, I think you will like this video, which is similar to this one, but it mentions another tool. It's called Piclumen. And if you're interested into that, make sure that you click on this video right now. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.